and I wanted to talk a little bit more about how I uh, train my baby alpacas. And so I start this actually pretty early, uh, maybe after three months old, and I always do it where they can walk away from me, but this is part of the desensitizing I do. And so not everything in, all, in one day, but just kind of different things I should do is I'll kind of stroke their neck, their back, those are areas I want to make sure that they are comfortable being touched because I do hand shear them. I'll also gently touch their ear, not overly too much. I'll also touch their forehead, which they generally don't like, but when I want to cut their top knot in the future, I want them to be comfortable with that. Um, also, um, where the sub cue shots usually go, where the neck and the shoulder meet, I'll kind of gently tug because you'll, yes, you'll usually want to be gently pulling and tugging up the skin and to put the needle under the skin. So wherever they get their shots, I generally like to sort of give them that sensation of tugging. Also, I like to touch their legs and just lifting it. Can lift it up. You wanna lift it? I'm on the wrong side to do this. But, oh, <laughs> but I'll just kind of fuss with their leg just enough, not too much because you don't want them to think they're playing with them. Also their belly. Let me see if I can get to the belly here. Come here, baby. Yes. He's like, oh my goodness, too much fussing. But the belly. Also the tail. Just because I do trim their tails. And you can see where the um, actual bone and tail is and where the fur or fleece is. So I want to always know where their tail is or the tip is so that I, um, when I give them a shear, um, I'm real careful and they're comfortable with me touching it. So those are things I don't necessarily do all at once. I'll start them slow. Yes, I know. And keep working with them um, throughout their, um, you know, just kind of whatever they're doing, whatever they're eating. Um, one other tip, I never ever leave halters or leads or anything like that on them when I'm not watching them. It, um, when they're fully supervised, I have the halter on as part of the training. But if I'm not here, it goes off. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Yes, because you're almost done eating. Can I have that? Okay, <laughs> that's it. Bye.